Hey fans, today we're gonna take an inside look at Inland Boat Company's 2016 Axis A22. It's a low hour boat. The uh, previous owner used to leave it in the garage and me and Remington just felt like it was really good to tag team this event. He's really passionate about this boat and it is dog approved for family fun on the lake. Our 16 Axis A24, it's a 21 feet 11 inches plus the platform here. It's got a 102 inch beam and on top of the trailer, the boat weighs in at right about 4,500 pounds with a full tank of gas. On the exterior of the boat, I want to point out and highlight a couple things that uh, you, you might not see normally on a little bit older axis that we've gone ahead and done. Back of this boat, up top here. Oh, cup holder pushing. We've got the rubberized pads that came from the factory. On the actual swim deck, it was time for something a little bit newer. We upgraded it to a gator step soft grip flooring deck with access to your manual wedge. We'll run around the sides of the boat, check out the gel coat, make sure it checks out and is in good cosmetic condition so there's no surprises when you arrive. Towards the back of the boat, maybe one or two little, little touches here and there. Up top here looks really sharp. You can see a very faint scratch in the surf gate there. Up the sides, there's one or two dock scuffs here. A good scratch on the sticker. The actual white and dark blue metallic on the boat looks really sharp itself. Up underneath, oh, a little dirt. Looks great. Little rub from the roller there on the front. If you're familiar boating, this is uh, very common on most every type of boat. Again, the white and dark blue metallic on the hull looks really good. Very, very few scuffs on the boat as it only has 106 hours and has been well looked after by its uh, original single owner. As we hop up into the boat, we'll look through the vinyl, look at the dashboard, um, ballast options, lift up seats, tower, board racks, etc. Let's give it a look. Looking over the vinyl on the back panels, actually looks remarkably well. Can't find any obvious scuffs right away. We have a small one right here. Both of the sides look really good. Let's lift it up, see what's below. We have the cover in the starboard side here, and there is plug and play ballast on top of the hard tank below. You can see the matching plug and play bag on this side. I wanna show you the uh, five seven liter PCM motor to push this boat. This is the standard motor option in 2016. Of course you have to have your pizza tray. As we run through the interior of the boat, it was uh, kept in a garage and has been really remarkably well maintained. Looking through all the edges, commonly you'll see on boats along these beads in the back and corners of boats will be the first things to go. There's no evidence of that here. Edges of the seats may be a little dirty, however, very well conditioned and maintained. Black cup holders, wet sound stereo, all throughout with white accent lighting on the interior. On the port side of the boat, you do have this pickup seat. It locks into place so that you can actually watch your rider as your wakeboarder, tuber, surfer, skier, whatever it is, is riding down the lake and have a spotter for the driver. easily collapsed. Say easily. On the uh, port side you have your passenger compartment. Open it up. Remove our seat here. Gives you access to two marine grade batteries, safety kit, battery switch, fire extinguisher, and amp rack on the wall.
In the glove box here, we have a couple plug and play fittings and fins for a surfboard. Large storage area with a USB charger. And in the dashboard here, you can see there's a signal telling us the wedge is down. That's on your left panel. And in today's video, the current hours on the boat are 106.8 hours. That's just about 50 hours per year used on the boat. If we scroll through some of our options, you can see the depth, oil pressure, engine temperature, voltage on the batteries, on the main screen, voltage, engine temperature, oil pressure. And on the right screen, you can see our surf settings, surf left, middle, or right. Control it going left or right on this side, as well as your cruise control off and on. You can set the cruise up or down very easily. We've got our bilges, sorry, blower, center bilge, rear bilge, and one, two, three, four, ballast fill, ballast strain and off. On the left side we have our navigation and anchor lights as long as dashboard lights and interior with dashboard lights. You do have pre-drilled slots for docking lights, underwater lights, and tower lights which are not equipped but available if you like them as well as a high and low heater setting. Let's walk towards the front of the boat. You have the large pull-out wind dam, as well as removable seat in the very center of the boat. Again, I've been watching as I go and I can't find any major cosmetic flaws on the vinyl. Below these seats is storage, all in the bow of the boat. It is pre-plumbed for plug and play ballast if you choose to opt for it later. You'll have four cup holders in the bow, as well as two interior accent lights. This 2016 Axis A22 single owner boat, sold new by Inland Boat Company and serviced exclusive by Inland Boat Company. If you'd like to take the boat for a test drive, learn what financing options are available, available to you, or about upgrades that you can add to the boat, contact us at 919-424-7134. You can call or text us whether you reach me, Andy, your on-water specialist, Alex, Jimmy, or Jeremy, all of us are here to help with your next towboat needs. Call us today and schedule your test drive. Thank you.